Was the Su-57 ever really alone? At first it looked like any other Russian stealth mission. One jet, one target, one quiet launch into the sky. But hours later, satellite images told a different story. There weren't one, but two heat. Trails to flying machines, but only one was supposed to be there. That second shape, it had no tail, no signal, no cockpit. It didn't answer radar, it didn't respond to commands, it didn't even exist. On paper, but it was there. Flying just behind the Su-57, hidden in the dark sky, was something else. Something silent, something deadly. A machine built not just for war, but for vanishing into it. They call it the Okotnik Bee. In Russian, it means hunter. But this isn't a predator you can see. It doesn't roar, it doesn't shine. It listens, waits, and when the time is right, it strikes. In this video, we're diving deep into the story of the Su-57's ghost partner. We'll reveal how this drone works, why it changes everything, and what happens when machines start fighting with us, or maybe even instead of us. And if you stay till the end, you'll learn the one moment in history where this silent hunter may have already made its move without anyone noticing. This is Phantom Aviation. Subscribe now and let's step into the battlefield of tomorrow. At first glance, it doesn't look like much. No sharp nose, no clear cockpit, just a flat, dark wing, wide and smooth like a giant manta ray, gliding through the air. But that's the point. This machine wasn't built to be flashy. It was built to disappear. The Okotnik B, also called Hunta B, is Russia's most secretive stealth drone, designed by Sukhoi, the same team behind the Su-57 fighter jet. This drone was made for one thing, to fly without being seen. It made its first flight in 2019. The footage was quiet, no big announcements, just a shadow lifting off the runway and fading into the sky. Since then, it's been tested, upgraded, and paired with Russia's most advanced warplanes. But it's not just a drone that follows orders. It's something more, something smarter. With a wingspan of over 65 feet and a weight of 20 tons, the Okut Nikbi isn't small. It's large enough to carry 2,000 kilograms of weapons inside a hidden compartment to stay invisible to radar. No weapons on the outside, no radar signals bouncing back, no cockpit to protect. That means it can go deeper, fly longer, and strike harder than most manned aircraft. But it's not the size or shape that makes this drone so powerful. It's how it thinks. And in the next section, we'll show you how this flying shadow was designed to vanish, not just from radar, but from the battlefield itself. The Okotnik B doesn't. Fight like other war machines, it doesn't need speed to win. It doesn't need to chase or dodge, because its greatest weapon is silence. Every part of the drone is shaped to hide. Its smooth body curves down, flat like a blade. No sharp angles, no visible engine, the exhaust is covered. Even heat signatures are reduced. Why? Because radar and satellites don't just see metal, they feel heat, track noise, and scan for reflections. Okutnik B gives them nothing. It has no tail fin, no pilot bubble, no wings sticking out. From above, it looks like a shadow. From the front, it's nearly invisible. And it doesn't just hide from radar, it hides its weapons to inside its body is a closed bay. That's where it stores bombs, missiles, sensors, all tucked away to keep the surface clean and smooth. No bulges, no drag, no targets to lock onto. Even its movement is ghost-like. It doesn't fly in groups. It doesn't broadcast signals. It flies in radio silence, using preset paths or instructions fed. Through encrypted links, it's not there to show power, it's there to be forgotten, to slip past defenses, to watch and wait. And when the order comes, to strike before anyone knows it was ever there. But the real secret, it might not even need orders, because soon it could decide on its own. Let's go back to the Su-57, Russia's most advanced stealth fighter. Fast, agile, and deadly. But in recent years, a new question has started to spread inside the defense world. What if the Su-57 was never meant to fight alone? In 2021, satellite images over Syria showed something strange. A Su-57 took off on what seemed like a solo test mission. But later, two heat signatures appeared in the data. Both followed the same path. One was clearly the Su-57. The other, it had no official record, no ID, no explanation. 
That second trail faded into the clouds, quiet, clean, and cold. Some experts believe it was the Okotnik Bee. No one confirmed it. No footage was released. But behind closed doors, Russian sources hinted that the Su-57 and Okotnik had flown together not just once, but several times. If true, this changes everything, because that means the Su-57 isn't just a jet, it's a commander, a lead pilot in a mission with no wingman, only drones. A thinking machine flying alongside a ghost. The pilot may not even need to fire. He just watches, guides, gives the signal, and the Okotnik B, it listens, it locks on, it delivers the strike from where no one can see. This isn't a fighter jet pairing. This is the start of a new kind of war, where one man and one drone can control the skies together. But what happens? When the drone doesn't need the man anymore? We'll explore that next. 4. Decades. Warplanes needed pilots. Skilled, trained, human minds making fast choices at 30,000 feet. But the Okutnik B changes that rule because its brain doesn't sit in a cockpit. It doesn't wear a helmet, and it never sleeps. This drone is powered by an advanced AI system, one designed not just to follow, but to think. It can scan terrain, identify targets, plot flight paths, and even decide when to engage, without a human voice telling it what to do. It learns from every mission, every movement, every mistake. Some say it's like giving a ghost a brain, a mind that never hesitates, never gets tired, and never feels fear. The connection between the Suf and Okotnik B is what military experts call a loyal wingman system. But this is more than loyalty. It's synchronization through secure, encrypted data links, the fighter jet, and drone talk. Not with words, not with buttons, but with coded bursts of information, flight commands, threat data, mission plans, all shared in real time. Imagine flying a mission with a partner who can read your mind and shoot before you even ask. That's what the Okotnik B is built for. But here's the twist. It doesn't need a Su-57 to work. It can fly completely alone. It can search, strike, and return all on its own. So when we ask, where is the pilot, sometimes the answer is chilling, there isn't one. And in the next part, we'll dive into the psychological terror this brings, because when death comes from the sky, and there's no one to blame, what happens next? The war has always carried one deep fear, the unknown. In the past, soldiers feared the night because they couldn't see the enemy. Now, they fear the sky, because what they don't see is what can end them. Imagine standing guard on a battlefield. The radar shows nothing. The air is quiet. The sky looks empty. And then, boom, dot a missile hits your position. Buildings crumble. People scatter. But still, no jet. No warning. Just smoke. Just silence. That's what the Okotnik B is designed to do. To kill without being noticed. There is no pilot to question. No face to fear. Only cold, calculated action. And this brings something terrifying, not just for the enemy, but for all of us. Because if a machine can decide when to strike, if it can choose a target, pull the trigger, and vanish into the clouds, then where is the line between war and murder? This is not science fiction. This is not tomorrow. This is now. Russia isn't just testing drones. It's testing a world where humans are no longer needed to fight or to decide and the first true taste of that world may already be flying above us. But what exactly is inside this flying ghost? What makes it work? What powers the mind of a machine made for silence? That's where we go next. Let's open the hood of the Okotnik B from the outside. It looks like a flat wing, quiet and smooth. But on the inside, it's packed with deadly precision. This drone is 14 meters long, nearly the size of a small fighter jet. Its wings stretch out wide, giving it the lift to fly long and far. It can reach speeds of up to 1,000 kilometers per hour, fast enough to strike and escape before you even react. Its flight range, over 6,000 kilometers, that means it can fly across entire countries without needing to land. But raw distance and speed aren't the real story. The real story is its brain. At the heart of Okotnik B is an AI system developed by Rostec, Russia's top defense tech company. This AI doesn't just follow GPS, it uses vision, thermal cameras, and radar-absorbing sensors to see the world, 
even in complete darkness or radio silence. It has no radar dome, because it doesn't want to be seen. No visible engines, because heat is a signal. No external weapons, because bumps break stealth. Everything is tucked inside. Bombs, missiles, electronic jammers, surveillance tools, all hidden in internal bays, waiting to be released. And here's what's most chilling. It doesn't need someone on the ground to fly it. Once given a mission, it can fly itself. If communication is cut, it won't crash. It just keeps going, can make decisions, dodge defenses, and return home all without human help. In the world of modern warfare, that's power. And power without fear is dangerous. But what does this drone mean for the future of war? What happens when you give a ghost the ability to strike and no one to answer for it? Let's connect the dots in the next section. The Okotunik B isn't just a drone, it's a signal that the rules of war are changing. In the past, stealth was rare. Only a few nations had it. Drones were tools, not threats, and human pilots were always in control. But now, Russia is building a future where fighter jets don't fight alone, where machines fly beside them, silently, smartly, and without fear. This drone is part of a larger strategy. Let the Su-57 take command. Let the Okotnik be follow. Then send in three, five, maybe ten more, all unmanned. They don't talk. They don't break formation. They just fly and execute. This is called a swarm, a network of flying machines connected by AI acting like a single brain. And it's not just theory. It's being tested right now. The idea is simple. Why risk pilots when you can send ghosts? Why rely on one jet when you can control a fleet from one seat? The Okototnik B gives Russia a huge advantage in electronic warfare, deep strikes, and surprise attacks. It can jam enemy radar. It can scan the battlefield. It can open the door before the manned jets arrive. And for countries relying on traditional air defense systems, this is a nightmare. You can't shoot what you can't see. You can't defend against what you can't track. And if the drone misses, well, there's no pilot to lose, no one to bury, just steel and software ready to fly again. But here's the scariest part. This isn't just Russia's plan. The US, China, Israel, they're all racing to build ghost fleets. Drones with minds of their own, fighters with no faces. The Okut Nick B is just the beginning. And if you think this sounds like science fiction, wait until you hear what happened next. Section 9. The War you'll never see let's go back to where we started. Was the Su-57 ever really alone? Now we know it probably wasn't, because flying just behind it, in the shadows, was the OKH-OTN-IK-B. It didn't make a sound. It didn't show up on radar. It didn't ask for permission. It was simply there, watching, listening, waiting. And that's the part that stays with you. Not the engine noise, not the weapons, but the idea that you're being hunted by something you can't see. This is the new battlefield, not filled with noise and fire, but with silence and ghosts, with machines that don't blink, don't breathe, and don't care. And as this technology spreads, the skies will change. The next air battle might not involve two pilots. It might involve one human and 10 drones. Or worse, no humans at all, just cold machines playing out a war that no one sees. Until it's over, we're entering an era where the deadliest enemy isn't the loudest. It's the one that never shows its face. And the Okotnik B, it may already be flying above a battlefield. Right now, Section 9. Call to action, join. The watchers, the world is changing fast, and most people have no idea. But you do, because you just spent eight minutes inside a story few are telling. A story of silence, shadows, and the rise of machines that don't need us anymore. If this story made you pause, even for a second, you're one of us, someone who watches the skies, who asks questions, who wants to understand the truth behind the tech. This channel isn't about news headlines. It's about the stories hiding underneath them, the ones that shape the wars of tomorrow. So if you're ready for more, more ghost aircraft, more battlefield secrets, more deep dives into the machines that fight in silence, then subscribe dot because in the next video, we'll uncover something even darker. The B-21 Raider, and why the most expensive bomber in history doesn't want to be seen. Ever dot, until then.
Stay curious, stay sharp, and remember what you can't see might already be watching you.